Hawthorne number one cemetery is a, a place that I come to a, a lot on the Somme battlefields because many, many years ago I came across a grave here of 2nd Lieutenant um, Eric Heaton. He was killed here with the Middlesex Regiment on the first day of the Battle of the Somme. And, uh, and he's, he's buried just, uh, just here. Um, you can see on the grave just here there's a, a little plaque to him. And Eric Heaton was the son of a vicar. Uh, from Hove in Sussex and back in the 1980s I, I traced his sister who was still alive and she told me the story that he was um, a young lad, joined the Middlesex Regiment, hoped to go into the church himself and follow the, in the footsteps of his father. His brother was an army chaplain in the war and um, he was killed here aged only 20 and he wrote an incredible last letter home from the Somme in which he told his family not to mourn him, not to be black uh, because if they carried on and remembered him they would be living always in his memory and there's an inscription on on his headstone from that letter that says I came out willingly to serve my king and country and the little plaque there was laid by the family in 1919 they came here on a pilgrimage and uh, his sister Irene and the parents stood behind the wooden cross as it was then and um, laid the, the plaque there and here it is all these years later and we're approaching the centenary of Eric's death and it'll be men like him that I'll be thinking of on this 1st of July. This is a place that uh, in the past I've often come to on the 1st of July, right back to the 1980s and in many respects when you look at men like Eric they, they speak for that generation who died here on the Somme a hundred years ago. Men who were approaching the, the prime of their lives, had their, their whole world, the whole life ahead of them, but those lives were, were cut short here on the Somme battlefields in 1916. And it's men like them that we're remembering this week.